Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and um, this video probably won't be much doing outside um, mostly catching up on a lot of pinning I need to do um, so this is the first uh, batch of stuff I need to pin um, I have a bunch of things I need to do, pin and spread that I caught before my Wisconsin trip. And then I have to pin and spread everything I caught on my Wisconsin trip. On top of that, I'm really going hard on my collection. Um, just another sneak peek, kind of. Those boxes are now all empty. Um, so I'm making good progress. Um, so, these are catches from uh, Black Lady and I did last week here in Colorado. Um, I actually have um, the video up on YouTube that I did. Um, so, See, here are a lot of uh, these are these are mostly all the beat. These are all the beetles that I collected. A lot of June beetles. Um, got a few tiger beetles. Some uh, Cicindelidia punctulata. I got this really really awesome uh, male velvet ant. Really cool right there. Got some small, uh, what look like, I think they believe, I believe they're, they look like whirly dig beetles. Um, uh, a few different things. Um, and if you did see that video, you'll remember, uh, finding this absolutely amazing specimen. And um, these are all the 10 line June beetles that came to the light. Managed to get uh, six of them. Uh, one of these are going to my friend. But the rest I'm keeping because I own, but besides these ones, I only have one other specimen, I believe, in my collection. So these are definitely going in the collection. Zoom in here. Hopefully get a look. There we go. Now, tell me that is not a beautiful beetle. Can't get enough of these. I hope. I wish I was able to find these all the time. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep on finding them for a little while. I do not know their flight season, but I'm hoping to uh, get some uh, more specimens here as I continue black lighting and of course I got this interesting really nice uh, antlion right there um, so yeah first uh, first batch of uh, stuff I need to pin um, what I think I'm gonna do is just uh, do an overview of the batches and when I'm done pinning them all I'll do a I'll take a we'll take a look at everything that I pin all right, we are on to batch number two for pinning. Uh, this is everything that was uh, caught in my neighborhood on a day last week. Um, so if you remember, if you've seen the video, um, 
a couple of videos ago with the uh, giant Newman wasp. There we go. Um, there are a couple. Uh, Coleus, nice sized copper species. Really beautiful. We got a Hamaris species. Hummingbird Sphinx Sloth. I really like that copper. Of course, those. Um, smaller stuff, that was an alcohol. Got a few tabanids right there, because you could never have too many tabanids in your collection. Um, got some Tetropes femoratus. Um, some leaf footed bugs. Uh, a couple uh, velvet ants. I actually caught these two mating, so we have a male and a female. So that's really awesome. You can see the total difference between males and female velvet ants, and it's kind of insane. So it makes it really difficult to identify them as species and trying to describe species as well. Got a nice big wasp there. Some stink birds and just some smaller beetles. Um, so yeah. And go ahead and uh, get these uh, pinned and spread. And I can uh, head on to the uh, next batch. Alright. We are on to the third batch. Um, so these are stuff my grandparents collected for me, um, from Texas and, uh, Oklahoma. Got a little carpenter bee there, some nice stuff there. Oops. This beautiful longhorn. Um, a good pile of dung beetles. They are always finding dung beetles. They're literally everywhere. I'm surprised by how many they find. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, here I got a mayfly there, a June beetle. Here we got a Stade beetle. This is a Lucanus capriolus. Not as impressive as like the giant stade beetle we get. But still a stade beetle and still awesome. Um, these two things they caught at a rest stop in Oklahoma. Got a nice uh, beautiful cicada right there. And here we have a nice size uh, tabanid uh, horsefly. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I feel I'm missing another beetle they had. I hope I didn't forget it. But anyway, yeah. Uh, darkling beetle there. So all these are from Texas, except those two. Those are from uh, southern Oklahoma. Uh, so yeah, uh, these dung beetles kind of smell like shit. Um, so yeah, I'm go ahead and uh, start getting these pinned. All right, we are now on to the non butterflies from Wisconsin. Um, I got mosquitoes out right now and a giant water bug. Nice big one too. Got at the black lighting. Um, got these two vials. 
from my grandparents' house. Just a vial with a few things in it from a hike with my dad. Um, another vial of stuff. Various beetles and such and flies from the same rotation of these ones. Um, another vial here, mostly of uh, Vespids, various hornets. Yellow jackets and a couple other smaller things in there. Um, so yeah, so these are what's uh, gonna be uh, being pinned out next. Um, this vial has lots and lots of uh, small beetles, so these a lot of these ones are gonna be appointed, and that's probably gonna be taking a few days. But uh, the large stuff, at least, should be pinned out. Um, then, of course, when uh, I get the butterflies out and get those ready to be spread, I'll uh, show you guys those ones as well. All right, we are on to the next batch of the Wisconsin material. Um, I only have three uh, alcohol vials left to do um so those ones and then this is the remaining uh stuff from wisconsin i collected um you see here got a uh, bumblebees um these are mostly for other other uh people who i'm trading specimens with and obviously i'll keep whatever uh, bumblebees are left. Um, now if you remember in that video, just how many freaking bumblebees there were. So, I wasn't too concerned about taking a sweep sample of, of bumblebees, so that's what I did. Um, these are the butterflies and moths I collected. Um, here is one location. Got some blues, pirates. Got a really nice looking giant swallowtail. So that's nice. Got a red spot of purple there. Um, over here, I wish I was able to collect more from my grandparents' place, but this is all I was. I I got a couple of coleus, uh, eastern tailed blue uh, viceroy, and a black swallowtail. Um, this was from where I was uh, black lighting. Got a couple moths. Um, these are butterflies from the same location. So you have some more blues, a nice silver bordered fritillary. The wood nymph, unfortunately, I'm missing a small part of the tail, right? Uh, hind wing right there. Some couple whites. There are lots of cabbage whites flying. Some sulfurs there. Eye brown. I wish I was. I wish I caught more of these. I can't believe how many I missed. And uh, more viceroys here. There were a lot of viceroys flying around. I could have caught a quite a few more if I wanted to uh, but I just kept it to three there um, so yeah now this is the stuff I'm gonna slowly pin through uh, today so hopefully it goes well all right we are now on the last batch well except for the vials but uh finally they're catching up here um so here is everything i collected on my mountain trip 
uh, the other week when I went collecting at, at and above tree line. Um, so we got all these uh, bumblebees here. Hopefully I added a species or two. Um, here. Got uh, Parnassians. Now these are a lot smaller than the uh, other Parnassian uh, specimens I've collected um, in lower elevations. So they're pretty cool. Really nice colors to them. I uh, got these checker spots. They acted a lot like skippers way up there. They're really difficult to catch. But I got a, f uh, a few specimens there. I uh, got a couple uh, species of fritillaries. Spearia species there. Beloria species. I think these are Arctic fritillaries. Um, so, and if they, I haven't really actually looked to make sure, but I believe they're Arctic fritillaries. Um, here's a couple skippers. Some really nice ones there. Some uh, Lysenid, uh, Lysenides. A couple blues, uh, copper right there. Pyrids. Um, mead sulfur, a marble there. Uh, I believe these are margined whites. Um, and uh, a couple Arctic species here. And uh, yeah. So. I know for sure new species, new species, new species, new species, new species. Uh, I believe these are new species as well, so I got a bunch of new butterfly species for my collection. So I'm really, really happy about that. Oh, this is probably a new species, and one of these other ones are probably new species as well. But yeah. So. Really happy I got that those, and I also uh, went out and collected the pitfall traps yesterday. Um, so I have those to pin out as well. Right now they're out drying. Um, this is every everything collected in the pitfall traps for the month of July. Um, and as you can see, I got a lot of them. Um, I mean, let's see. Once again, I did get some more uh, Peck uh, Pessimicus. Brown beetles there. Um, got a good number of uh, dun beetles actually. I was actually quite surprised and pleased with that. Uh, darkling beetles, uh, got a bunch more necrophorus. Um, a couple nice crickets here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let these dry for a while. These will probably take a, well, likely take a couple days to pin. So yeah. 
some of these are actually going to other people um, but a good majority of them I'm uh, going to be pinning out so yeah it's going to be fun so basically that's pretty much all the stuff I'm catching up on I won't have to sh I won't show you these again when I take them out and do those so basically the last part of this video is going to be showing you everything when they're all pinned and spread out all right so time to go over everything I caught up on pinning will be the last uh, part of this video here um so let's start here see if I can do this there we go Beatles there. Just a quick overview. Um, so some of these you've seen in the past videos. Um, these are stuff from black lighting here. Um, these are random stuff. Um, bumblebees from mountain collecting and a couple mosquitoes. Um, stuff from uh, black lighting from back in Wisconsin. Um, and all of these are stuff I have to point from that same black lighting, black light outing as these specimens. Um, if you remember video um, of the giant Newman wasp there, um, I got stuff from Texas here that my grandparents sent me. Um, more stuff from Black Lightning in Wisconsin on my last trip there. Um, as well as stuff that I collected during the daytime and stuff. More stuff from Wisconsin. Um, now on to the Lepidoptera that I spread. Got a black swallowtail there. And others that I collected on my last Wisconsin trip. And these ones are also from the Wisconsin trip. And these ones got some nice viceroys, some yellows, and uh, some sulfurs, a couple whites. And then uh, these are all the butterflies that I collected for collecting up in the mountains. The Parnassians there, the Mead Sulfur, the Whites. Checker spots, the Arctic's here. Uh, Fur areas up there. So they all turn out excellent. Um, so yeah. 
Oh, uh, I also uh, pinned out a bunch of pitfall traps, but I don't have to go. I won't go through those right now. I do have some fantastic news though to end out this video. The next video I'll be putting up, which will be this weekend sometime, is going to be a full collection tour and a unveiling of my new collection with its updated look and all that type of stuff. So the time has finally come where I'm at the point where I feel um, I'll be able to give a full tour and show you guys. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Hopefully you guys will look forward to that as well. <clears throat> um, so hope you enjoy this video, though it's just catch up pinning and nothing too exciting outside. Uh, but uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time.